Hey everyone, I'm Ben from the Academy of Geekery and today I am back doing another quick redstone tutorial. Today we'll be looking at a double speed, completely automatic furnace system. So this design was inspired by a video done by a small YouTuber called the Techno Gizmo. And Techno Gizmo um, made a single, like, a single furnace speed, uh, completely automatic one. But I thought to myself, hmm, I think I can make that faster. So, uh, here's what I've come up with. So, as you can see here, we've got our three, uh, three chests. This one is the coal input, and you can put a sign on that if you want when you build it. Uh, that is the food or whatever you want to cook input, and that is the output chest. Uh, now, as you can see, it's completely flush. Um, and this grass, actually, you don't even need that. This grass covers all the redstone. Um, so it's actually not that large, <laughs> considering uh, what it does. And anyway, if we break away all of this grass here, you can see the circuit itself. Now the circuit itself is compact as I could possibly make it. Um, it's still pretty large, but I can't see how I could make it any bigger. Um, but basically what happens is from the coal gets pulled down and pushed into the side, and since it's a double chest. We can split it between two uh, two hoppers into the um, into the furnaces. Um, from this double chest, which is the food or whatever you want to cook, gets pumped down to the two furnaces, and then from the furnaces, when they're done cooking, will get put into the droppers that send it back up to the output chest. Now, to pump it up to the top, we have this little circuit here, which is the unlocker. This unlocks this little uh, this little hopper clock here, uh, which then allows this to pump the, uh, it pumps two, t two pulses, I think, um, for the food to get up to the top. Now, if there's ever, if it ever, stuff ever gets stuck, which it does, but it's not too often, um, you can just open and close this chest repetitively, uh, which runs this little circuit, since this is a trap chest, uh, which basically just goes and allows it to pump back up again, um, getting anything that was stuck, unstuck. Okay guys, to start off we're going to place a comparator and off that comparator we're going to have a block and a block is going to have a torch on it and then two hoppers facing into each other. Now underneath this, coming off the side, we are going to have a comparator and then on this comparator we are going to have a redstone dust with a block over the top of the redstone dust and then another block up with more redstone dust on it and then a block back down again with our repeater and then we can go and put a, another block there, we can get rid of this block and we can put uh, some redstone dust on it. Um, the next thing we need to do is we are going to put a block up there and then put a block there and there and we are going to put two repeaters here and then a block up for redstone dust. Then off here we are going to get three droppers, so one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then what we're going to need to do is going to put on here, which one's a trap, this one's a trap chest, trap chest, normal chest, then trap chest. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to get our furnaces. So let us grab ourselves some furnaces. Um, so we want these two to be furnaces, so in there. And then hopper, hopper, then hoppers coming off the sides, and then hoppers coming out the top if I cannot fall to my death um, and then we need a hopper coming out from under there and then a hopper coming out from under there and then there like that. Okay guys and the finishing touch is we just throw an item of your choice into this little hopper clock here and that will allow it to run now. So if you found this video useful and or you enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the Academy of Geekery.